if you're not white as a person, if you're not classified as white, then you are something less than white. By less meaning you're supposed to have less power, less choices than a person who is classified as white in all nine areas of activity, wherever you are on the planet. It doesn't make any difference what shade of black you might be. Black, brown, red, yellow, beige, uh, uh, slang term, red bone, whatever. If The question is, are you white or not? That's it. You don't even have to go into the shades of color. Shades of color, just shades of color. White is non-color. That's why they call people of color colored people, people that have color. If you're white, white is not a color except when you're talking about paint. If you're talking about people, you're talking about a category of people who are supposed to be eligible to be white supremacists. That doesn't say, you know, a lot of white uh, black people are white. If you look at their skin color, they're really white. We've got some of them in our families, extended families, if not in the immediate family, so-called, all right? Even though in, white, in the system of white supremacy, there's no such thing as a black family anyway. I mean, that's a myth. That's something made up. That's something black people walk around thinking they got. Prisoners of war don't have families, all right? That's not logical. That's not true. You cannot be a prisoner of war and have anything. You don't even have yourself, not to say anything about having a family. And the white supremacists prove that over and over again, all the time, right in our face. You don't have nothing. You have, you don't even have yourself. Mm -hmm. You just got me as your boss. That's all you got. And it'll stay that way. And that's what drives you black people crazy. Mm -hmm. Because you don't understand how we do that and what your status really is. That's why you're crazy like we have made you, and you act crazy, and you will be in this state as long as I have power over you. We mm -hmm. have to understand that. Prisoners of war, I keep saying that over and over again. Prisoners, what does a prisoner of war have? That's the question. A prisoner of war has nothing, even when they think they have something. Once you're a prisoner of war, you're just a number. Yes. And once you're a prisoner of war in the system of white supremacy, you're just a color. That's all that you have. And you don't even have that because the white supremacists would walk up to you and say what color you are, you know, on any given day. All right? Or what color anything is. If the white supremacists say, you look up at a black person, you say, oh, the sky is blue. And the white supremacists said, no. The sky is gray. And the black person will say, well, I'm looking at it, and, and I can see, a, I know a blue sky. I ain't afraid. Mm -hmm. And the white supremacist will say, what do I say, boy? I say, the sky is gray. Now, are you going to prove to me that the sky is blue? What are you going to use as proof? Well, uh, I got sense. I can see it. I can see that the sky is blue. I know blue when I see it. The sky is blue today. It ain't gray. And the white supremacist said, what did I just say to you? They say, well, are you going to make me say that the sky is blue? Now, that's the white supremacist talking to a black person mm -hmm. anywhere on this planet mm -hmm. right now. Are you going to make me say that when I just told you, boy, that the sky is gray? Yeah, but, yeah, but, nothing. Yeah, but, you don't overrule me under any circumstance. I don't care what you're looking at. You say you got a wife. I say you haven't. Your wife belongs to me. Now, prove that she doesn't. Because I can prove that she does because I own you. And that means what? And this is very important when the white supremacists are talking. If I own you, what do you own? Just answer that question. Mm -hmm. Stop and think about it. If somebody owns me, then what do I own? I don't own anything. 
because whoever owns me owns everything that I claim is mine. And that gets back to that answer about somebody saying something <laughs> about a basketball player, uh-huh. uh, you know, having this and having that. Under the system of white supremacy, if you're black, you have absolutely nothing, not even a, a, the privilege of calling yourself black if a white supremacist say you're brown, like somebody just called in and said, or you're yellow, or you're blue. Why? Because I said so, boy. Because wow. I said so, gal. Now, you prove to me that I'm lying. And I just told you, you bet not tell me that I lied. Because mm-hmm. I can hurt you, and you cannot hurt me. That's the bottom line, folks. Yes, sir. That's the bottom line. I can hurt you a whole lot more than you can hurt me. And every non-white person on this planet that ever attempted to do that, we laugh at them. And we say, bring it on. Because <clears throat> now that's the bottom line. Can you prove it by force? Mm-hmm. Because that's what you're going to take to do it, to, to change what I just told you, sky being gray instead of blue. 